Thank you and welcome to the English news of Infoop Radio Television Station and Newspaper. I'm Thủy and following are the headlines as usual. Partitive contribution appreciated by world leaders, scholars. Resources prioritized for social policy credit. Volunteer campaign launched in Bingfoot Province. And now are details. In the past three days, many leaders, former leaders and all around the world have expressed their condolences at the passing of Party General Secretary Nguyễn Phú Trọng. In the interview, they also expressed their appreciation for the great contribution of the Vietnamese leader. Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong is an exemplary leader of the party and state of Vietnam, who is trusted and loved by the people, said former Party General Secretary and President of Laos, Chumali Sayason. Expressing his deep sadness at the passing of General Secretary Trong, a close friend of the Lao people, as well as of himself, the former leader of Laos said, it is also a great loss for the party, state and people of Laos. He recalled that, During the time he worked with General Secretary Trong, the Vietnamese leader had brought warm feelings and invaluable lessons to him, as well as the party and state of Laos. I had learned a lot from General Secretary Trong, especially in party building work, cadre training, and handling negative phenomena. Particularly, I was most impressed by, and learned the most from his viewpoint on building political bases, and developing new rural areas. He recounted that, General Secretary Trong had visited Adipo province of Laos, and encouraged Vietnamese firms investing in the locality, to support local economic development and rural building. At present, the two governments are still implementing many cooperative projects, which Sayasong believes will reap success, thus promoting economic growth and bringing a better life for people in each country. Cho Cholhyan, who penned a book on Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong published in the Republic of Korea in May, said he was deeply saddened by the passing of the Vietnamese party chief. The General Secretary truly became an ideologist of communism with profound theories. As the top leader, General Secretary Trong worked hard to attract foreign investors, and promote Vietnam as a country of democracy, and high economic growth for years. Especially, The leader's bamboo diplomacy has been held in high regard in the international arena, as it has proven effective in the relations with the three powers of the US, China and Russia. Within one year, the presidents of all the three powers visited Vietnam, drawing global attention. Through such important diplomatic events, Vietnam has reaped many positive cooperation outcomes, and seen its reputation and position elevated in the international arena. We move to Bingfoot Province, where standing Deputy Secretary of the Bingfoot Provincial Party Committee, Huynh Thi Hang underscored the need to prioritize and balance the allocation of resources for social policy credits during a recent conference, which will help to reveal 10 years of implementing the leadership of the party secretariat on strengthening the party leadership in the social policy credit program. Standing Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Huynh Thi Hang urged local governments and the Social Policy Bank to make it easier for poor households and policy beneficiaries to access the capital. She stressed the importance of promptly prioritizing additional resource allocation to help achieve social equity and ensure no one is left behind. From 2014 to 2024, social policy credit funds in Bingfield Province have helped 21,453 households escape poverty and created jobs for 27,401 workers. Additionally, over 16,680 difficult students received educational loans, while 223,613 clean water and rural sanitation projects were constructed. The funds also facilitated the building of 942 houses for poor households and policy beneficiary families and provided nearly 22 billion Vietnam dong in loans to 29 enterprises to pay salaries for workers. 
Meanwhile, the Central Committee of the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union launched the 2024 volunteer campaign named Pink Vacation in Binh Long Tao, Binh Phuc Province, on July 19. The event featured several significant activities, including the donation of 40 gift packages to policy families, young workers, and disadvantaged residents. Additionally, 15 bicycles were given to children and students, and 20 gift packages were presented to young workers at the Lợi Hưng Rubber Plantation and Binh Long Rubber Company. A countryside road lighting project worth 80 million Vietnam dong was inaugurated and handed over, and construction began on two charitable houses. Lighting projects for border areas were also donated. The total value for the volunteer campaign in Binh Phuc exceeds 620 million Vietnam dong. This volunteer campaign provides young people with practical experience, helping them develop skills, enhance awareness, and take actions that contribute to fulfilling political and professional tasks while participating in local socio-economic development. Also on the local front, Bo Dang District in Binh Phuc Province and the Nhịp Sống Yêu Thương Club team up on July 20 and 21 to support local disadvantaged children and policy families and poor households. The program provided a variety of donations, including a water filtration system, 200 school assistance packages, 500 notebooks, 200 school uniforms, 22 scholarships for disadvantaged orphans, 10 bicycles, 6 computer sets, 2 drum sets for school activities, and 2 televisions for educational purposes. Additionally, 10 gifts were given to poor households and policy families. The total value of the donations amounted to nearly 200 million Vietnam dong, all raised by the club. The club also honored dedicated teachers with special gifts. These contributions not only brought joy to students, but also supported their educational aspirations. Looking ahead, the Nhịp Som Yêu Thương Club plans to continue its efforts with more initiatives aimed at enhancing social welfare in remote and ethnic minority communities. On the local economy, fruit and vegetable export brought home 3.4 billion USD in the first half of this year, up 28% year-on-year. This growth is expected to continue in the coming time, thanks to the higher domestic and international demand. The Vietnam Fruit and Vegetable Association reported that durian, dragon fruit, banana and longan were major contributors to exports growth. Shipments to key markets also increased 10 to 50 percent from the same period last year. China, Thailand, and the Republic of Korea remain large importers, with their purchases from Vietnam up 30, 60 percent year-on-year by the end of May. Based on the results mentioned above, Vietnam's vegetable and fruit exports in 2024 are predicted to grow by 15 to 20 percent, even reaching 6.5 to 7 billion USD if exporters can utilize opportunities provided by trade protocols. In the face of fear, competition in the world market, Vietnamese retailers are racing to green up their trademark towards sustainable brand, thus maintaining its home ground and reach out to foreign market. Vietnam's retail market valued at over 142 billion US dollars, is projected to reach 350 billion US dollars by 2025. Consumers are more in favor of high-quality products. Vietnam's engagement in a number of bilateral and multilateral free trade agreements have expanded market opportunities for local enterprises. The country's national brand has also surpassed 100% growth from 2019 to 2023. In 2023, Vietnam's brand value topped 498 billion US dollars, up over 15% year on year, ranking 33rd out of the 121 countries evaluated. Despite these achievements, many businesses share that developing green trade is the biggest challenge, because transitioning to sustainable production requires substantial investments in technology, 
infrastructure, and workforce training. That's all for today on the news of Bing Phuc Radio Television Station and Newspaper. Once again, thanks for watching and goodbye for now. Thank you.